Thank you, Mr. President. I just wanted to speak briefly on Senate Resolution 7-0 to commemorate June 27th as Post Traumatic Stress Injury Awareness Day in Michigan. We have uh, all heard, um, I'm sure, countless stories of individuals that we all know and are close to, members uh, who have served in uh, public uh, service, whether that's in the military, police, fire, corrections officers, or other uh, professions that are exposed to the traumas um, that uh, are um, present within the professions that they have. Um, I've offered this resolution several years in a row to try and change the dynamic around post-traumatic stress and some of the stigmas associated with it and the hardships that come from service, whether that's in the military or otherwise. And uh, I think that it's important that we uh, bear that in mind and uh, uh, adopt this resolution to try and change that stigma around those seeking help for uh, the effects of post-traumatic stress. Uh, we've got to do a better job than we are. We're making progress in the right direction, and this resolution today will help us in that effort. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator. Yeah. Questions on the adoption of the resolution. Is there any further discussion? See none. All those in favor will say aye. All those opposed will say no. The resolution is adopted. For a special introduction, the president recognizes the senator from the 24th district, Senator Barrett. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, now that we've adopted the resolution, I just wanted to introduce Kent Hall, who is uh, one of my constituents from Williamston. He's in the North Gallery. He's here with honor for all in support of uh, Senate Resolution 70 that we passed today. A veteran himself, a post-traumatic stress survivor and advocate for others. Wanted to recognize him today. Will the Senate please welcome the special guest of Senator Barrett. Thank you for your service. 